everyone, welcome back to the WPG Studios. My name is Clint Wise, and I'm gonna be with you guys today for just a few minutes talking about why you should sell your home in today's market and why right now is a perfect time to sell your home. We'll be right back. All right, guys, so we're back. Listen, I wanted to talk to you today about, listen, is it a good time to sell? Is it a good time to sell your home right now? I get asked this question at least three or four times a week from people, uh, clients of mine that call me, they're concerned uh, about selling their home because they're not exactly sure where they're going to go um, with the coming out of a, such a hot market that we uh, just turned the corner on, I believe. You guys have seen some previous videos of mine where I've talked about that. Um, you know, but I think that it's important for people to understand that the market has definitely shifted. Uh, we're seeing more inventory come to market. Uh, more consumers are saying that now is a good time to sell their home. In fact, let me pull up um, a couple of uh, things I, I grabbed here. So this is a couple of little stats for you about equity. The average equity gain of mortgaged homes during the past year was 33,400. This is a, an average over the entire nation, so obviously some areas are gonna be hotter than others. The current average equity of mortgaged homes is greater than $216,000. There was a 6% increase in total homeowner equity over the past year. So again, that's taken into account the entire nation. Uh, some areas saw as high as 30% equity rise, um, and then other areas didn't see that much. So it takes an average. Um, total U.S. homeowner equity has reached nearly $1.9 trillion. And here's a couple of quotes from a chief economist at First American. He says, existing homeowners today are sitting on record amounts of equity. As homeowners gain equity in their homes, the temptation grows to list their current home for sale and use the equity to purchase a larger or more attractive home. He then goes on to say homeowners with mortgages, which account for roughly 62% of all properties, have seen their equity increase by 19.6% year over year, representing a collective equity gain of over 1.9 trillion, an average gain of 33,400 per borrower, and that is since the first quarter of 2020. So what does all of that mean? What that means is that getting back to talking about whether or not you want to take the step to sell your home and purchase another one. Like I said, I know there's some reservation with a lot of people that I talk to that are worried about where they're going to go. We have definitely seen more inventory coming back on the market. In fact, month after month, probably for the last three months or so, uh, maybe four, we have seen more inventory coming to market. Um, there was a time, probably about nine months ago or so, I remember saying to one of my colleagues and making a comment that I had ran a search in St. Cloud for houses under $300,000. And I think there was, there was like probably six or seven listings that were really worth anything um, that popped up. And it just, it blew my mind that that was all that was available in St. Cloud. Um, there are more houses coming up on the market the buyer pressure uh, is still pretty decent in that uh, sub 280 category. So anything under 280, 290,000, the houses are still going pretty quickly. Um, but when you get up above that into the 350, 375 range, you're starting to see houses sit a little bit longer. Um, I would say on average right now, it's about a week to a week and a half or so, which doesn't seem like a lot. I get it. It doesn't seem like a whole lot. But when you're coming off of a market where houses were selling sometimes in six hours. I remember logging on to MLS, running a search. I'd see a house available. I would call an agent and say, hey, we want to get in and see this. And, and I'm on MLS multiple times every day. Um, and the agent would say, oh, we're already under contract. And I'm like, you just listed the house like four hours ago and you're already under contract. So we're not seeing that kind of thing anymore. Um, houses are definitely sitting a little bit longer now, which is going to make it easier for you to find something. And I'll tell you something else that's going to happen here before too long and it's already starting to. 
the more houses that come to market, the more people that decide to list their homes because they're sitting on all of this equity and they could take that equity and put it into another property and keep their payment roughly the same um, and either downsize or upsize or, you know, get a house near a lake or, you know, whatever they want to do, the reason for their change, right? Um, as you go through that, one thing that we're starting to see is the, um, the, the basically the competition among sellers. So the more listings that come to market, sellers are going to have to start competing with each other uh, because there's more offerings out there for buyers. So when you're in a really, really hot seller market, like we just came out of, there's not a lot of options for buyers. Everything is moving so quickly off the market and going under contract that anybody's just willing to grab up whatever they can grab up. Well, when you have more listings that come to market, the buyers have more options. And eventually what happens if that trend continues is the sellers have to start competing with each other. Prices level off, prices even possibly decline. You start seeing more price drops. Um, I hardly ever came across a price drop like nine to 10 months ago. Now I'm seeing price drops all the time. So we're seeing prices drop. I had a client of mine that closed not too long ago. We were able to get them a $19,000 reduction um, off of the purchase price of their home. Um, I will tell you the house is overpriced a little bit to begin with. Um, but they still got a $19,000 reduction. What I felt was they paid probably under market value for the house, which is fantastic for my buyer. Um, but on the listing side, if you're looking to list your home, sell it, move into or purchase another home, we do that all the time. That's what I do every single day. We have become experts at it. Um, it seems like a lot of balls are in the air for you as a homeowner to do that, but it's something that we are very familiar with and we know how to put a timeline together and put certain protections in place for you to make sure that you're not hanging out there longer than you need to um, in that uncomfortable zone and that you can get your home sold and purchase another one and move from one home to another and use that equity that you've got in your house to buy your next one. So if you have any questions about any of that sort of thing, be sure and call me. My number will be right below this video. It's 321-615-2812. You can always reach out to me on my email, clint.wise at compass.com. That'll also be right here. And feel free to ask me any questions you guys want. I've got plenty of referrals for you. And that's a reminder, always ask for referrals. Selling and buying a home is too big of a financial decision and too important for you not to ask for referrals. You get your washer and dryer worked on, you ask for a referral. You have somebody come install flooring in your house, you ask for a referral from a friend or a neighbor, right? Ask for referrals, demand that from your real estate agent and make sure that they offer people up to you that they've worked with in the past, that are satisfied clients that can tell you the type of service that you're gonna be getting. Hugely important. You guys have a great day and I will see you next time right here from the WPG Studios.